keep on going. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then, no, oh, here we go. Hempoli sent in uh, just a little bit of money, $5,000 with the comment, thank you for another amazing event. Baba is thankful. I mentioned Baba. I'm seeing something that looks like a sheep, but I'm not sure if it's Baba. Maybe we should go find out. Uh, I think we might be about ready for this Pokemon run that you all send in so much money for. I don't want to hold you up any longer. Let's get it going. All right. Um, first of all, before I start, thank you all very much uh, for donating for this run. Um, this obviously wouldn't have been possible without you. So let's give another round of applause for Twitch chat. Yeah. Um, yeah, so um, I'm Etiquette. Uh, you saw me do the glitchless run earlier in the week. I'm uh, May, and I love this Marie. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Shenanigans. I'm one quarter of the Chaos Brigade. All right. Um, and I think we are good to go. So um, starting the run in three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right. So uh, the run you saw uh, yesterday. Um, this run's gonna look almost nothing like it. Uh, this <laughs> I don't is gonna know, I don't be know what the you're talking about. any percent glitched run. Um, worth noting, this run is only possible on version 1.1.0 or 1.1.1. Um, the game basically released with 1.1.1, uh, and that is what I'm playing on today. Uh, the game has since been patched, and uh, in order to play this version, you'd have to have a physical cartridge and like a friend that you can airdrop the the version over to you. Um, but it is still a really cool run, um, and I'm. Glad I get to show it off here. Yeah, this is very much a don't blink kind of run. Yeah. It, it gets very broken very quickly, which is really cool in a Pokemon game when uh, you get to skip almost everything. Yeah. There really hasn't been a Pokemon game that has a route like this since really the originals. Honestly, yeah. So, like the original Diamond and Pearl, not. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, just before we get our first Pokemon here, um, as promised yesterday, the first Pokemon, and the only Pokemon we're going to be getting this run is Turtwig. That's not Mareep. Yeah. That is not Mareep. Unfortunately, we will not see Mareep this run. <laughs> it's okay. That's why we have it on the couch. Um, <laughs> they did the commentator thing again. <laughs> I know, it's so good. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get our first starter, and we need the, the Pokemon in order to uh, do the main glitch in the run. The main glitch in the run is going to be a glitch called Menu Storage. Basically, it's a way for us to open two menus at once. Uh, once you have two menus open, when you close one of them, the game says, hey, you closed the menu. Let's put let's put you back in like a gameplay state and so you can start running around. But you still have another menu open. Um, and so that lets you do some some really wacky things. Um, but before we get our starter, I guess we can probably get one or two donations in. So I know that was a lot. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've got a $200 donation here from Filaments. Bonus Pokemon, yes, please. Let's say this is a Pokedex donation for Mischievous, and uh, no one ask any questions. <laughs> okay. Also, quick update on Pizza Swap. We're already over 10,000. We're going to need to get that in by about half an hour into Elden Ring, so please keep donations coming for it. Absolutely. All right. Uh, so we're going to walk our way over to the Verity Lake, uh, or Lake Verity, rather, yep. um, and pick Turtwig. Turtwig is the best starter for this run. Um, for two main reasons. Uh, the first reason is it is actually the one that gets through the fight the fastest on average. Yep. Um, has the least number of average turns. It's more likely to two-shot than the other two starters. Uh, the other reason is it's literally just the one that the cursor is already on. Yeah, just smash um, All right, so um, this is going to be the final boss fight coming up right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the final boss music starting to play. Yeah. It's very spooky music. <laughs> <laughs> like, you saw that fight against Cynthia yesterday. Uh, this is this is like that. It's about this difficult. <laughs> right. Honestly, yeah. So here's the Turtwig. If everything goes right, we will two shot. We likely won't because things don't go right. Oh man, Turtwig's so good. Yeah. Uh, also, get used to that cry. We're going to be hearing it yeah, a lot. If you like Turtwig's cry, is this the run for you? Right. All right. Um, while we're getting rid of this Star League, probably get another couple donations in, and then we're going to start glitching the heck out of things. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sounds perfect. Mrs. Otisius sent in $129. Magikarp used Splash. Nothing happened. Magikarp made a donation to Doctors Without Borders to help meet BDSP incentive. It's super effective. And, and Good Grief sent in $1,055. Wow. wow. 
You thought this was another Elden Ring run, but it was me, Dio! <laughs> Very nice. All right. That's a pretty close uh, name incentive, honestly. It really it is. It really yeah. either way. Dio can snipe at any moment here. All right. So um, in order to perform this glitch, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our Pokemon menu, go to the summary screen. And when you're on the summary screen, you can click A or a confirmation button because there are multiple buttons that act as an A button. And it will bring you into like a held item menu. Um, if you click A twice really quick, you'll hear that we did, you hear two menu clicks. And now I'm walking yep. with the menu still up. You can tell. Because oh, there there's the cutscene. There's, there's the cutscene. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to open up two menus. And uh, we need two menus because we need a menu open after we do one specific thing uh, in order to save the game and get back out. Uh, the, the thing we're going to do is we're going to walk into a door and essentially cancel going through the door. Um, so while this cutscene's playing, I'll open up another menu. And uh, if you listen really carefully, you can still hear the cutscene playing. We've got some text here. I like the idea of your mom's trying to explain like mechanics of your game to you, but you're like in your bag, not paying attention. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, so we're outside. All right, we canceled the door. We did not cancel the door. <laughs> Almost canceled the door. All right, hold on. I can do it again. Yeah, this it's is fine. door storage, which is a different type of the menu storage. It allows you to cancel the action of entering the door. And by doing that, uh, it puts you in a state where the game thinks that you're in the process of entering a door, which is going to allow you to do all kinds of things, like walk there around without getting encounters. Uh, you can skip cutscenes by doing this. And also, you can save the game and reset out of this glitch, which will allow you to uh, skip some cutscenes as well. Yeah, here's Dawn. Normally, she would talk Hi, to Dawn. you. Yeah, we don't want to talk to her. It's fine. We also, we'll never be able to name our turtle. Here's right. Dawn. Yeah. Bye, Dawn. Don't need the catching tutorial. All these trainers that we would have to fight, they're no point. That's slow. Yeah, we'll yep. just head into uh, Jubilife, and this is where a bulk of the run's kind of going to take place. Yep, so we're going to save the game, go back in. Uh, it's very important you don't hit download. Uh, I'm on. <laughs> don't worry, I'm on airplane mode. It wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, okay, you. okay. That was a little spooky. You don't want the newest patch? <laughs> the newest Literally mid-run. Right what do you mean? They fix all this. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all fixed. All right, so we're now in Jubilife City. Um, and while we're in Jubilife, uh, we're going to. We're basically in Jubilife City for two main reasons. The first mm -hmm. is we need to get a key item. Um, do you want to explain that, Shen? Yeah. So there's another type of things that that we can do with this menu storage that requires having a key item. Uh, in this game, there's a little selector that you can put four key items on. You hit like D-pad left to get a, your bike and D-pad up to use a rod. Uh, we're gonna register the old rod to I, up, I think, and that'll let us pull up the key item menu. Uh, we can do what we call a menu sandwich with that, which is very complicated. It's a good meme, but oh. uh, yeah, we're going to be able to layer different menus in different orders in order to get different effects. So it's nice to have uh, two different menus that we can layer to do some of these glitches. And importantly, we're going to register the old rod to the um, to two diff. The si we're going to register it twice. Yes, because you don't. If you just have one item registered, you won't get the sort of like uh, direction pad menu. Mm -hmm. But if you have a twi if you have two held items um, registered, then you do get that menu. And, but yeah. getting two held items or getting two items is slow, and getting the same item twice is fast. Yeah. yeah. So the way that works is we just have essentially like that register open, and then we go into another menu and then register it, and then close that menu and then register it again. Yeah. So it's double register is the glitch yeah. that we call it. So now the the old rod's on two different registry buttons, uh, which allows us to do a couple of tricks coming up. Yep, so you'll see I just opened up a register menu underneath. It's kind of tough to see. I opened up a normal menu there. I'm going to open up one more normal menu. Um, Take notes with all these menus that are being opened up in yeah. the specific order yeah. they're in. It, it does uh, matter a little bit, but... Uh, we're creating a uh, big open-faced yeah. sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so we're going to interrupt that lady. Um, that lady will push us to the right when her event finishes. Yep. Um, and we're going to trigger her event at a very specific point. Yeah, so essentially, like, because we're in this weird menu state, the game doesn't want to finish the event until the menu is closed. Yep. And then we'll ledge jump here and cancel the event. And now we're flying. And now we can fly. We are flying. And we made it past Barry. Perfect. All right. <laughs> so that right. is a trick called Legitate. Yep. Uh, because we use the ledge to levitate. <laughs> Creative, I The know. names for the speedrun are so good. <laughs> it's, yeah. There's like a bunch of other um, glitches that like got superseded because there were like a ton mm -hmm. of different things. Um, yeah. The best one is that you could just surf on Badoof on land. 
Yeah, it it's amazing. amazing. And the epic music that plays while you're doing yep. it too. There's All also right. one called um, uh, what's the um, egg cracking? Yep. I yeah. I think we mentioned it in the run uh, the other day, where you um, uh, also we're out of bounds now. Yeah. yeah. We use the height from the ledge in order to get above the trees. That gets us out of bounds. And this is a very, very long segment of out of bounds walking. Uh, the other important thing about the, the menu storage is it allows you to save the game anywhere. Um, normally, you can't save the game. You can't even open your menu normally when you're out of bounds in, in this game. But because we did the menu storage, uh, we can save out of bounds. And that's going to allow us to walk to the Elite Four and save the game and get back in bounds. Yeah, we are literally walking through the entirety of Sinnoh right now. Um, if you know the Sinnoh map, I'm currently like over Mount Coronet. Yep. Uh, we're going to go all the way up Mount Tal. Coronet and then um, make our way like above Celestic Town and Veilstone and make our way all the way to the Pokemon League. Yeah, this movement's actually a little bit complicated. Um, I, I know I think it's using a timer for certain parts of it because uh, it, it is pretty complicated to know exactly when to change your directions because there's no visual cues while you're doing this whole out of the bounds movement. So um, yeah, and the important thing is uh, we are. Ooh. Uh, Any second now. There's like invisible walls everywhere. There it is. Too. Okay, uh, we are um, still storing that event from the GWS lady. She uh, mm -hmm. prevented us from you know going to the GWS and she pushes you to the right. Yep. Um, and that's very important because now that we're out of bounds, we can't get back in bounds. Um, but Unless. if we trigger her event when we're next to a wall, we can get right back in bounds. Um, we're going to do that basically at the Pokemon League. Yeah. Yeah, so normally there's a big vertical wall that separates us from being able to get back in bounds. But uh, when the, whenever the cutscenes play, it doesn't even check like collision. It just shoves you through the wall, uh, yeah. which is you know perfect for what we're trying to do when we're trying to get back in bounds. All right. And while I'm finishing up this movement, probably another couple donations. Yep. Yes, sorry, I'm here, I promise. Uh, still trying to catch up. Let's <laughs> take a $400 donation from Simply. $400 Ooh. Ooh. as promised. Right? That was an incredible run. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> $400 as promised. Shout out once again to this amazing community and team for once again putting on a spectacular show. Such an honor to be a part of. Good luck to the rest of the runners. I've also got $500 here from Anonymous. I don't know what Pizza Swap the Champions means, but I love pizza and I love Elden Ring. And we are already over $15,000 towards that. Please keep those coming. All right. Um, so if I did the movement correctly, I should be underneath the Pokemon League. Yeah. Um, I feel like I may have messed it up. It looked okay. Yeah. You might be a little low, but it's not that big a deal to be a little low. Yep. It's always a little scary when you're loading it up back here. Yeah, the load takes a while, too. So yeah, it's, it's very fence. Uh, okay, I'm good. Yeah, okay, yes, cool. Okay, so, thank God. <laughs> so yeah, it looked fine. Uh, we're we're literally in the Pokemon, League. In the Pokemon League. League. Okay, yeah. so if you remember from yesterday, um, there are six fights remaining. There's Barry, the four Elite <laughs> Four fights, uh, and Cynthia. So in order to skip Barry, uh, we are going to, guess what, do menu storage. Um, and this time we're going to do a double menu storage. And then we're going to walk onto the escalator, close the menu, that cancels the event, uh, and now we are out of bounds. <laughs> and we're gonna literally <laughs> walk so back sad. here, um, and then save the game, yep. go back in, and when we load back up, we will be able to enter the loading hey. zone. Yep. And since we know that this has a really long load, another donation, please. Yep. Absolutely, Spikus sends in $50. Is Mareep dog? What? No. No, oh, it's a sheep. No. I, 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 it's, I, I, they're just asking. I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so all of the Elite Four skips are going to be the exact same. Um, they are kind of complicated. So when you enter the Elite Four room, what happens is you get your character gets walked forward. Um, and then... Uh, so you get walked forward, and then you... A door behind you closes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the walk forward event and basically use it at the top of the room uh, to walk through the door. So I'm going to do a bunch more menus. Yep. This requires three layers for this sandwich. It's a key item for the bread and then a menu storage for the meat and then a, another key item on top for the top bread. If I remember correctly, the guard for the Elite Four also doesn't actually check your badges, right? No, Correct. Not they the just same. assume that in order to get there, you had them all. 
Oh, and that. right through the door. That's one. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to save after each one just because if you mess up one of them, you literally get stuck in that room with a level five turret. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> you can do it. All right. Just, uh, just use a polka doll. I love the like intense music for this. Yeah, we used to be able to skip these fights by using Poke Dolls with menu storage and we just end the fight. Uh, but uh, we found a way to do that without the uh, the Poke Dolls, which saves a lot of time. Yeah, because you don't have to go buy them now. Yep. There, there. So when this game was being rooted out, like right near when it came out, the names of the routes were named after the day of the week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We used to have the, the Monday route, the Tuesday route. This is literally the Wednesday route, and like Thursday they patched the game. Yep. yep. It literally, uh, this is the Wednesday route, and then there was no Thursday route because it got the patch. Like, props to Ilka. They patched all this out quite quickly. Yeah, it was really cool to see him like on it right away. All right. Uh, so two more Elite Four members could probably get another couple donations. Yep. Sounds good. Gopher sends in $250. Pizza, pizza. Uh, already over $17,000 on that incentive. Doing wow. great. Um, let's see. I've also got the Shy Guy sends in $25.70. Longtime watcher, second time donator. Here's $5.70 for my favorite Pokemon, Shiny Zorua, and $20 for 20 Bulbasaurs. Yeah, get those Bulbasaur donations in. Could be any number. <laughs> All right. That's uh, so the last one. And then we have Cynthia. Cynthia is, remember how Cynthia was like surprisingly easy? Now Cynthia's gonna be surprisingly silly. Yeah, yeah. it really is. It's um, so funny. So there is a faster way to do it than I am going to show here. Uh, but this is basically the best way to see exactly what is happening. Um, so we'll just let this one speak for itself. Yeah, this is very funny. I love this. <laughs> Which old rod are you gonna use? Obviously, the left one. Of course, of course. You still get to deliver to the themes. That's fun. What's up, Cynthia? <laughs> Woo! Flex Later. On Cynthia. And onto the elevator. Bye. And that's it. All right. Um, yeah, there is a faster way to do it. You can skip basically this next little cutscene, but um, I figured that's more fun. You you can't really see what's happening. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot it's more better, fun. So. All right, and then uh, time's going to be after the fade to black and Hall of Fame. Yep. Yep. And that's BDSP. That is BDSP. This, the this second is the whole time. Run. Yeah, uh, th this run is basically the conglomeration of a ton of different people. Um, we like the the Switch Pokemon community like blew up. Because oh yeah, of, yeah. Uh, this game glitches were found day one. Um, obviously, this took a couple weeks to get, but uh, mm -hmm. this is there are like way too many people to list. Yeah, it was really cool uh, when when all the glitches and the routing was happening. We would have like fifty person Discord calls for like ten plus hours a day just figuring out this this unbelievable route you get to see here, which is really cool. Yeah. Did we forget to do something? Oh, we had another math. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. on so, you. You're yeah, yeah, mine. That. Sorry, sorry. So everybody, when they were like, oh, you're doing, the, the, the incentive's going to happen, they were like, we want to see a little bit, we want another math segment. So I did prepare um, a little section on how affection works in Pokemon. Oh, a little left. There, there you, you go. go. And time. So... All right. Thank you all for watching. Thank um, you. Again, this was this was great. Um, yeah. Hope people enjoyed the run. Uh, like this, this looks nothing like the run we saw yesterday, so <laughs> it's it's really cool to show it off. Um, and yeah, if if you're interested in this run, um, there are still you know people doing runs of this category, so uh, you might be able to find them. And yeah. Well, one thing: if you are interested in this run, you have to find somebody in real in in real in life, like IRL meet up and get the <laughs> patch from them, but. It's doable. It yep. is. Hey, um, uh, Corvame, can you, before you go, can you help me with a donation real quick? Sure. Uh, $10 from Bud Horse, $10 to pet the Mareep. Aw, always. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Thank you for supporting Mareep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, the Drifloons are finally here. Heck yeah. <laughs> There's one on the couch the whole run. <gasps> should we, should we go? <laughs> I, just, I just keep looking. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Etiquette, for that amazing run. And thank you, everyone watching, for making it happen. That was incredible. And we even got another round of Pet the Mareep, which is always great. Okay. Uh, I want to get in one more donation real quick before we go. One more donation real quick before we go. Uh, Alice VT sent in $105. So glad to see y'all reached Pokemon Goal. Super excited to see this run. Oh, and it was a quick one too. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Don't anybody go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back, everyone. You are watching Summer Games Done Quick 2022. Oh, my goodness. It's almost over. We are close to the end, but we are not there yet. We've still got Elden Ring. We've still got the bonus incentive that we're working on to pizza swap the champions. That is a little bit over $19,000. We're almost a fifth of the way there already, but this incentive is going to need to be met fast. This event is going to be about half an hour into the Elden Ring run, so do not sleep on this one. If you want to see a fight with something that resembles nothing in this world so much as a pizza cutter, I've seen photos. It's kind of incredible. Get those donations in. Max has, uh, trying to help that out, sent in a $25 donation Pizza Swap the Champions would be an incredible band name. Can't, right? I mean, that's, that's solid. I would, I would rock out to Pizza Swap the Champions. <laughs> oh, gosh. ZCoop98 has sent in $25. But the important question, is Mareep a Calzone? That is not a Pokemon type that I'm aware of, and I'm slightly intimidated. Was a hot pocket? <laughs> All right, I need a minute to catch up with the audience. Uh, we've got a word from some friend of ours, so uh, hold on just a second. I'll be right back with you.
as we continue to catch up on donations, oh my goodness, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling this one. Ragat send in $50. I am really hungry. I think I need some pizza. And we just crossed $20,000 on that incentive. We are fully a fifth of the way there. And I cannot get away from the food references on these hosting ships. I just keep leaving hungry. Knight of Knee sends in $300. Is this dog? Praise the dog. May the good dog guide you. Naughty sent in $5. Great to see Mareep officially recognized on the couch. Can't wait to hear their contribution to the commentary. <laughs> they had their name in the overlay and every. Finally, the recognition that the giant Mareep deserves after a week of hard work. And finally, I've got a $100 donation from Mist. Wait a second, I platinumed Elden Ring and I didn't see any pizza. Thanks for the incredible week, GDQ. All right, everyone. And with that, my time with you is coming to an end. It has been amazing. No, 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 no. Hold on. Stop. All of you stop right now. None of that. You know why? You see, you see? Covert Muffin, standing right here. The amazing Covert Muffin. The singular Covert Muffin. A man whose laugh is so distinctive that if somebody tells a joke within 20 feet of him, you know exactly where in the convention center he is. He is going to be taking over for me and shepherding you through this Elden Ring run. I cannot think of better hands to be leaving you in. It has been an honor and a pleasure hosting for you all once again. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the memes and the hype and the love and for making GDQ what it is. It is so good to see you all again. It has been my pleasure. Be good, everybody. I'll see you all again soon. Oh, and by the way, uh, we have an event recap coming up. <laughs> so, you know, if, you, if you're ready to go on that, go for it. <laughs>
you're, don't miss this level. Okay, okay, social <laughs> media, be prepared to clip at the end of this level because you are going to love what happens and just like seeing all of those, you know, trolls that they baked in and, and you know, funny deaths actually happen live and being like, yes, <laughs> and getting to share that moment with everyone else. Just, it, it felt good. You don't, you don't get that, you know, online. You know, you can tell people in Slack like, oh yeah, you know, this level's good. There's going to be something here, but it's, it's something different when you know you're within talking distance <laughs> physically of someone and you get to be like, yeah, Look at that. It's so good. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I think for me, I, have, I had a couple moments I really liked. One was when we hit $2 million raise because I happened to be in the stream room when that happened and just getting to see everybody stand up and, and cheer and everything. Everybody out there in the crowd, I love you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, Oh, the crowd, the crowd, Hob. Just yeah. having the crowd, <laughs> hearing the real people like yes. cheer and yeah. shout and react, and that was amazing. Yeah. And just getting to raise so much money for charity and everything. Uh, I, I think though, uh, like also just seeing all of my interview team that I haven't been able to see for so many years. Uh, I love you all. Thank you all so much for putting in all the hard work you do. Because especially before we even started, like before the marathon started. Just yeah. getting to see people and start to do stuff was, uh, was amazing. But, of course, my favorite moment was that I got a higher score than Fant on the Star Wars pinball machine. <laughs> Fant's standing I, up right there. I, I, Fant yeah. is now leaving. I, <laughs> there's nothing that fills me with more fire than knowing that I can be better than my friends at a game. <laughs> And that time it was pinball. It was Star Wars pinball. I'm very excited about He's that. He's giving you the look right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you're in trouble. Mm. <laughs> He's literally standing right over there. Okay, but uh, but yeah, no, I, lots of great moments. I'm so happy that we could all be back here and uh, and just be holding this event again. It's been amazing. Uh, but there there is a, a bittersweetness to this one, I think. <laughs> uh, before we get to that, I'm going to uh, go ahead and give us an opportunity here to uh, talk about some of the just numbers of the event, right? The scale of what we have here uh, going, going, like from this event in general. So Simi, you always love to pull out the statistics, love to talk about uh, yes. things that uh, happened throughout the week. So why don't you let us, let us know? Well, thanks to Faulty and Uranium Anchor who provided us with some cool stats. We have, you know, the top regions who have donated and we have participation from 63 countries around the world who have donated to the cause. And the top five are the United States, Canada, greetings from Germany, Great Britain, and France, who I believe is a newcomer to the top five. Ooh. Pretty awesome. Mm. <laughs> greetings from France, apparently. <laughs> greetings from France. However, we also have people who are supporting through other, way, through other means. We have um, people who have subscribed to the channel. And the United States tops that as well with a, um, a lot of subscriptions, obviously. And then number two, Greetings from Germany. Germany. And then Canada, the UK, and then the Netherlands. So there's a little bit of difference there. The Ooh. Netherlands? Yeah. Really? Interesting. Yeah. All right. And um, we know that all of you in Twitch chat love to spam emotes. You love those emotes. And the top emotes are GDQ Clap, GDQ Spin, GDQ Timer. Why is it called Timer when the text on the emote is time? Let's, let's not worry about things right. that mistakes people have made years ago. <laughs> it's <All right>. fine. <laughs> and then there's GDQ Dance and GDQ Heart. <laughs> and we've streamed over 150 hours this week for you. And we've had a lot of donations come in. But while people love to throw in their donation comments, we had 13,879 people who donated without a comment. So to all of you silent donors who don't submit a comment, we appreciate you too. Thank you so much. Shout-outs to all the lurkers out there as well, out in chat. Yep. And also, during the task block, as um, some of you may know, we had a cool thing where the Twitch chat actually popped up in the game. And a total of 1,805 people participated in that by saying, here together in the chat. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, that's amazing. It's a lot of people. It is. <laughs> yeah. Now, I mentioned, I alluded to the fact that this is a little bit of a bittersweet event uh, in a way, and that is because one of the three of us on, a, on this couch will not be returning. Well, I don't Price know. Man. Maybe uh, you're going to return. Uh, but... me. It's me, isn't it? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this, this is Sumi's last event as staff, uh, and I just want to say thank you for all that you, you've done, and we're sad to see you go, but we know you're going to do great things. 
Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. It's been a great eight years with everybody. Oh, the monitor has yep. turned off. Uh, don't, we're not going to worry about don't, that don't one. Don't worry about that one. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> well, it's been a really great eight years with all of you, but I mean, GDQ is always destined to do great things. And um, to everybody out there, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you for loving the event and for loving the staff and for loving all of the volunteers and the restreamers and all of the people who participate and make this event great. And we love all of you too. And uh, even though I'm not gonna be staff anymore, I will continue to love everything here. I'll continue to support GDQ. And yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any, I didn't have any speech prepared. I didn't know I was gonna say something. So I mean, that's no, all I got. It, it's, it's good to me. Um, you know, yeah, first off, round of applause for Sumi. Like, come on. Standing ovation. Wait, don't, yes. don't, no, don't stand. <laughs> That's gonna make me feel, oh no. Esteban said he's gonna film me if I cry. I'm not gonna cry. You, you, I'm not gonna cry. You 100% <laughs> deserve it, Sumi. Um, like, on, on behalf of not only me, but on behalf of so many staff, I want to thank you so much for being, being a friend, being a mentor, for bringing a level of like professionalism um, of mentorship, of just like industry understanding to Games Done Quick as a company. That I think one of the biggest shames that all of you at home don't get to see is you see me, you know, 50 times during the week. What you don't see is that for every one of those times when I want to do something really silly and really weird on stream, I'm going to Sumi and being like, hey, Sumi, so I want to do this. How do I do this appropriately <laughs> for the stream? Like, how, how should I frame this? And Sumi will go along with it and be like, okay, yeah, we can do this, but do it like this or make sure you use one of these or don't touch, you know, the Red Bull fridge or however... <laughs> You want to phrase it. Um, and just, you know, so behind every one of our, our dumb memes, behind every, like, silly incentive we put on the schedule, behind every game we show is, you know, Sumi's leadership <laughs> getting that done. So, I mean, thank you. Thank you so much for that. And it's, it's going to be a huge void to fill. <laughs> oh. Stop it, Sent. I'm going to cry. I swear I'm going to cry. Well, and I think to... to kind of send you off right. We've done this before. We've done kind of little mini interviews here in the event recap. We, th we sent out a tweet on the Twitter, at Games Done Quick. You should go follow. Uh, <laughs> we sent out a tweet asking for some questions for you, Sumi, uh, since it is your last event. And I, I think let's just jump in with the first one here from at SinSpitterX, who's a fantastic volunteer. We love you. Thank you very much. Uh, they were asking, what's your favorite behind-the-scenes memory you have from any of the events you helped with, which is a lot of them at this point? You know, <laughs> grabbing food with staff, your favorite audience reaction, or anything like that? We went to a certain food joint, a legendary food joint that's, like, really <laughs> close to here. I will not name names, but uh, <laughs> we all survived. <laughs> it's the legendary place, and that's a good yeah. memory for me. Um, but other than that... fast pies. <laughs> If you're picking up my drift attendees, you might other, know. <laughs> other than that, um, just hanging out with, with both of you at like 4 a.m. on Saturday before the stream started, and we're just like, oh, man, there's so much stuff to do. We still have to work on it, and we're just commiserating together at 4 a.m., sitting right there backstage with, with our laptops, and yeah, that's yeah. always a good time for me. I think about that every event. P people, people see the stream. People never see the, the 5 a.m. IHOP run we do, <laughs> the, you know, Friday, Saturday before the event where we're just like, uh, we are all so dead, and we still have six hours of work to do, but we need food. <laughs> well, uh, Sauce wa Waz... Uh, I'm not even... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting it so wrong. My eyesight sucks. I think it's uh, Sal's Wazlib or something. Yep. They're asking... Uh, or they just said, we're, we're going to miss you. And what has been a moment that has surprised you the most over the years? Surprised Yeah, you've me. seen GDQ grow a lot at this point. Yeah. I mean, the first GDQ I went to was SGDQ 2014. And that was when uh, LOK did the spring green layout. <laughs> <laughs> And now we have like an amazing layout as well from, from support class. And I mean, I think that surprises me the most, like the evolution of the tech. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, I think it's, you know, the first time we hit 3 million, I was like, whoa, I didn't even realize that was like <laughs> possible. And now, you know, we're, we're super close right now. And I don't know, that always surprises me. Yeah, that was a fun moment. Uh, Couple more I'm going to hit you up with here. We have one, just a, just a note from one of our uh, fantastic producers, Amerlin. They're saying, not a question, but they're going to miss working with you, Sumi, as we all are. Oh, <laughs> hi, Amy, I'm going to miss you too. Where are you? I don't know where you are. I can't see you from here, but I'm probably miss going you. and practicing neon white some more so you can beat me again when we get home. <laughs> 
Anyways, <laughs> and uh, I think a, a very good one to, to kind of, you know, uh, end, end the social media questions on here. It's from at KZ Fru, who wants to know what's next for you, if, you're, if you can share. Ooh, I don't know if I want to share that on the stream. There's so many people watching me. <laughs> the pressure is on. But um, I, have a, I have a new adventure in place. Uh, I'll probably post it on my Twitter, like, later or something. But um, uh, I will continue to be around. Uh, I think some people, I think you guys will see me around. Um, I'll definitely still be helping out uh, Cool Maddie where and whenever I can because, I mean, I love GDQ. So um, I'll, still be, I'll still be here, and then I'll, I'll be embarking on a new adventure. Well, awesome. Well, thank you again, Sumi, for just all that, all that you do. But uh, there's one more task left for you to do. Oh, is, is it prizes? Is I, it prizes, though? Oh, can, can Sumi just do all the prizes, then? Yeah, yeah, Sumi. Sumi, do you want to do prizes? <laughs> well, I would want to do the prizes, but first we have some information to share about some incentives. Oh, yeah, you're, you're correct. Let's do some incentives first. How about that? Because uh, I don't know about you, but uh, crowd, do you, can, do you want to cheer if you want to hear, if you want to see more GDQ? I, I, think right. they, I think they want to see more GDQ. Just maybe, maybe a little L bit. A little bit. Well, we still have some cool incentives that are open. We have Pizza Swap the Champions for Elden Ring, and we also have a bonus run of Elden Ring Any Percent. Yeah. And the milestone for that incentive, if you would like to see Elden Ring Any Percent, will be three million dollars so if you would like to see any percent elden ring we must get a grand total of wrong direction we must get a grand total <laughs> of three million dollars donated to doctors without borders but we have some help thankfully from like we mentioned earlier all of you who have donated uh, uh, who have donated as well as um uh through bits and subs as well so our share, GDQ's share of bits and subs, minus tax, and with the support of some of our wonderful sponsors who donated directly to Doctors Without Borders, we have to put toward this total $238,310. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we will be putting that toward the total and then we will shoot for the three million if you would all like to see some Elden Ring any percent. So let's get to it. And I believe to sweeten the pot a little bit, both you know, figuratively and literally, because there is a pot man in <laughs> Elden Ring, we do have a bunch of prizes related to Elden Ring. Sent, why don't you tell us about a few of them? The best pot warrior. Yeah, <laughs> we, we have so many wonderful Elden Ring prizes available right now. And we just had the yeah. number added to the total there. Yeah. It, it has already gone up. <laughs> we're, we're only about, you know, what, 270,000 away from that. We can definitely make it. We've got some great prizes to talk about. I'm just going to let you know real quick Elden Ring, any percent, you want to see it. We are going to see a great All Remembrances run coming up next regardless, but Elden Ring Any Percent is just so I, ridiculously I broken. I think it's actually at this point, despite being the biggest game, the shortest Dark Souls from software like I, I believe you're like correct, run, I think, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. I, yeah. I think it is the shortest from soft <laughs> Soulsborn run period with just how Despite ridiculous the biggest game. Yeah. It's so cool. Anyway, so cool like some of the awesome amazing prizes we have here. You know, we've got an Estus flask from Dark Souls. We have so oh, many Oh, oh yeah, I have the Estus flask, Sumi. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We, we found Sumi's new endeavor. She's coming back to take my job <laughs> no, as no. prize queen. <laughs> we, we have so many amazing Souls-themed prizes here. I'm just going to tell you up front, $100. If you haven't gotten the donation in already, please, please do so because you are donating to an amazing cause. You're going to be entered in to win so many wonderful prizes from so many amazing artists. I mean, come on. We got an Elden Ring print that is larger oh than God. I am. How could oh you gosh. not be interested? Oh, it's in... the Earth Tree. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like the whole, you know, lands between here, Hob, mm -hmm. in this print that is like four feet by That's three incredible. feet. That's incredible. massive. <laughs> we can't even fit it in the camera. We, we can't fit it in the camera. Frame. I'm going to have to turn it sideways. <laughs> you should give that to Jay Hobbs to hold. He can model that one. Oh, well, yeah, there, there you go. Oh, Hobbs is the appropriate size. Okay. Pass it down. 
I was born for this. All right. I'll, I'll grab some more appropriate sized uh, artwork here, like this lovely painting of uh, Ronnie the Witch that was by Caroline Brown. Uh, by the way, I saw that the Ronnie ending was winning the ending bid war. Good. <laughs> Go, make, make it happen, Twitch chat. This is my decree. The prize decree. <laughs> uh, seriously, there are so many wonderful, wonderful things that your donation will get you entered into. This is dog is still just, it's one of my favorite <laughs> memes that come out of uh, Elden Ring. It's one of my favorite prizes that we've got in the vet because it, it is, is this dog? So I mean, is this dog? I've asked Hobbs before. Yes. Listen, I'm not sure, but the, the turtle neck meat is delicious. So I'm just throwing that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely great. We, uh, we've got this Elden Ring shadow box here from our friends over to Sclare Studios. Uh, again, this is another one that I, I really just wanted to hold up, really just wanted to show. I wanted to show it so much that I'm going to put it in front of my face. Look at it. Don't look at me <laughs> because it's just that cool. This is done entirely with paper layered on like, you know, different levels of the background to give it a beautiful 3D effect. There are so many amazing prizes, not including everything you can see on this couch right here, but also including everything on a table over there that is going to be incredibly difficult for our camera operators to view. I'm going to hope they can because it is a lovely Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker prize pack. If they can't, you can see a great picture of it over at gamesdonequick.com. There is absolutely so much amazing things in it. Uh, I'm a real big fan of that Ardbert statue. It is glorious. But oh. Sent, you can't win that. I am not allowed to win that, Sumi. You're not allowed to win that. Hobbs is not allowed to win uh -huh. that. But you at home, you are definitely allowed to win that. And you are also allowed to watch Elden Ring because we have a great All Remembrances run coming up by Catalyst, right, Hobbs? I, yeah, we do. I think that's going to do it for us. Thank you so much to Twitch chat. Thank you so much to the crowd. Thank you, everybody. We've loved putting on this event back in person for you once again. And uh, here's to many more GDQs to come and a fantastic Elden Ring by Catalyst. Bye, everybody. All right, thank you, J Hobbs and Co. And that being said, hello, GDQ viewers. My screen name is Covert Muffin, and I will be with you here till the end of the marathon. All right, so it has been quite a week for us here in Bloomington, Minnesota. It's just been an incredible event. So I'm going to be a little bit real with you folks here, there at home. Here, we are raising money for MSF. And life is precious and invaluable. Doctors Without Borders knows this, which is why they've been working so incredibly hard year round in over 70 countries around the world to bring medical aid, right? Runners and hosts get a lot of the love and appreciation as, as they do deserve, but truly the heroes here are each and every one of you. With your combined support, we have raised over $2,700,000 here in one week. And this, this in turn helps MSF do what they do because life is precious. I am so incredibly honored to be here with you tonight. And from the bottom of my heart, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But that being said, we are not done here yet tonight. We have Catalyst, who is going to be running Elden Ring All Remembrances. We have prizes that you can be in the running for if you just send in some donations. And the potential to even extend the marathon even further with a second Elden Ring run here tonight. The ability to make history is in the books for us here tonight to cross that three million and go beyond for MSF. Doesn't that sound great, GDQ audience? And here behind the mic, I am just simply one person here. But there are just so many incredible people that are working so unbelievably hard behind the scenes. Volunteers, staff members, co-commentators for the run itself, as well as Catalyst, who we're going to see in a bit. But that being said, you can be part of this. You can help us out. And there are many ways to do this. Just tell a friend, tell a friend, get them in here now to watch the stream. Tweet out or maybe post in some other social media to just spread the word. It doesn't just have to be a donation, but you can Prime sub, right? So if you have Amazon Prime, just do that Prime subscription itself, right? Or if you do have that extra financial stability, you can end up gifting subs to other people so that they can spam those emotes, that they can meme, and they can enjoy the ride with the rest of us as we are raising money to literally save lives because lives are precious and invaluable. 
So that being said, we are going to go ahead and get into some of those donations that are coming in because we have an incentive that still needs to get met. And oh my goodness, we only have about 30 minutes into the run before it's going to be closed off. And that is indeed going to be none other than the Elden Ring Pizza Swap, the champions, which if you've not seen this, it is absolutely hilarious. So here we have a donation from El Glockster that for $100 that says, this has been one of the best experience I've had the pleasure of being a part of. Shout out to the hosts, runners, tech crew, and audience in chat for bringing the hype. <laughs> but I need that pizza cutter. I'll be cheesing if we hit it. Can't think of anything saucier. Let's hand toss this incentive for the za. Well, thank you so much, El Glockster. You are awesome. We also have $50 from Brendo that reads, The fallen leaves tell a story of a champion who would rise and consider not whether his enemies were Calzone or Stromboli or maybe Ravioli. All would fall as pizza before the wheel. This donation goes to swapping the champions. Heck yeah, Brendo, let's get that incentive met. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my goodness, and we have a special $10,000 donation from